My name is Ethan. My name is Cole. And this is our game. Dice, dice Toss. So you get five dice, and you're gonna line up in these four holes. For this hole, you get one point. This hole, you get five. This hole, you get ten. This hole, you get twenty-five. But then whenever you roll with the dice, you'll get a multiplier to whatever point you get in the hole. So if you roll like a five in the five hole, you get 25 points. Every 50 points, the player gets one piece of candy. So the materials we used were uh, cardboard, paper, dice, and tape, and that's it. The rules for our game are that a player can only throw five dice per ticket. The player must stand arm's length from the board. The dice must not be removed before points are calculated. If the dice lands on the board, it's zero points. And if it bounces out of a hole, that's also zero points. Expect the probability for landing a die in the one hole was, we estimated to be about 8.8%. .8%. But in reality, it was closer to about 3.37. We expect this is because nobody wanted to throw the die into the one hole because it was basically worthless in the whole scheme of the game. The expected probability to land in the five hole was 5.12%. The experimental value for this was actually 31.49%. Uh, we expect this is because human aim is better than random chance and um, so more people could get in the five hole. Um, the percentage that we estimated for the 10 hole was 1.67%, um, but the, the actual probability, the experimental probability, was around 8%. So we also expect this was higher because of human aim being better than just pure random chance. Um, but the 25 hole, the, we, the expected probability was 0.42% chance that we would, somebody would throw it in. Uh, and the actual probability was 0.4%, and we expect these were so close because the likelihood of getting in was basically just came down to random chance. The probability that we calculated for rolling any die, one to six, we calculated to be about a one in six chance because there's six possibilities and you can only get one. Um, the experimental probability for this matched up very closely and there was some tiny 1% um, changes, but it was stayed around um, one in, a one in six chance of getting any dice roll. The theoretical probability for missing the board and scoring zero points was 83.99%. But when people actually played the game, the experimental probability of this was 56.83%. We expect this is the same reason that the five and the 10 holes differed from their estimated values because human aim is better than random chance. So out of 101 trials, 44 people won the small prize, one person won the medium prize, and nobody won the large prize. The small prize was one piece of candy, the medium prize was two pieces of candy, and the large prize was three pieces of candy. Out of 101 games played, the revenue that we earned was $101. The amount that we spent on candy was $2.30. The amount that we spent on duct tape was $3.50. The amount that we spent on cardboard was $2. The amount that we spent on paper was $5. And our total profit was $88.20. The reason that our game was successful is because it was in a good location, it had good prizes, and it was not so hard to beat, and we were able to turn a good profit from the people replaying the game several times.